<laughs> yeah. It's my last show today. I can't believe it, Rep fans, can you? <laughs> the past four weeks have flown by. <laughs> I won't be on TV anymore. <laughs> Not be able to talk to my fans anymore. <laughs> Oh, I'd just like to say thank you all, Rep fans, for writing to me and sending hundreds and hundreds of drawings and prezzies like this lovely knitted uh, model of me here. Yeah. Where is it? There. Yeah, look at that. Marvellous, isn't it? Uh, and scarves and jumpers and hats with my name on. Isn't it marvellous? Uh, you're too kind to me, you really are. I'm getting emotional now. I'm getting quite emotional. I have to change the subject. Uh, it's so comforting to know you all think I'm marvellous. Yeah, right. Let's read out our last rodent birthday greeting list, shall we? Yeah. OK, boys. Stick them up. Yeah. Alexandra Sandbrook for... Oh, slow down! I know it's the last show, but I can't read them that fast. Now look, now look at it. It's too slow now, isn't it? Robert Dudman from Swanley Kent, age 11. A bit faster. Donna Greenfield from Tamworth, Staffs, age 7. Moira Brownswood from uh, Doncaster, age 3. Jessica Conway from London, age 3. Also, yeah. That's the last time I'm going to have to put up with the graphics department. <laughs> yeah. Have a wonderful day, rap fans, and may you long, may you long be rap fans. Incidentally, I have now written our next rap newsletter, so a message to all ORS members, you should receive your next newsletter in about three weeks. Sorry for the delay, but that's the price of fame. I'm too busy to write my own fan club letters now. <laughs> I would now like to welcome my special ORS guest star of the day, Sawyer! Yeah. Welcome to the sewer! Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, Sawyer! Good morning, how are you? I'm fine, Sawyer. My yeah. name's Sawyer, it's not Sawyer. Is he? Rat face. Yeah. I thought it was Sawyer, as in Sawyer Bean. No. Yeah. No, I'm only pulling <laughs> Yeah, I know it's Sawyer. I'm a big fan of yours, aren't I? That's yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm privileged to have you here in my sewer. Oh, yeah. I'm privileged to be here. It's just really good. Yeah. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. No, it's very posh in here, isn't it? It's, it's very a nice. It's sort of high-tech sewer, really. Yeah. Reminds me of my home. <laughs> <laughs> Dead trendy, I bet. Yeah. Now, I've got loads of questions for you here. Um, uh, I'm pleased to meet you because you're similar to me, aren't you? Being an actress and a singer and a sort of multi-talented artist. Yeah, yeah. I'm a bit of a rat. Yeah. Too. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've got loads of questions, and if I can find my script. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how many films have you made? How many films? Yeah, loads, um, haven't you? I made about seven films. Have you? Uh, I, I can't, I forgot, forgot counting them. Yeah. Uh, I've done a few big ones. I did quite things like Quadrophenia and oh, stuff Oh yeah, I like saw that. that, that was good, yeah. Did you like it? Yeah, riding round on the old scooters. Yeah, yeah. that was good fun, that was yeah. great. Yeah, with Sting, he was in that, wasn't he? Yeah, and oh, then I, I did a film called The Tempest, which was Shakespeare. Oh yeah, which... Shakespearean. Yeah, I've done that. Yeah. Yeah. Which was a bit it's... frightening. The only trouble with Shakespeare, it's a bit boring, isn't it? So I, I rewrite it normally. I rewrote it too. Yeah, it's the best thing really, and it cut I, out the boring bits. I couldn't really read the big yeah. words either. Yeah, no, it's a load of rubbish really. <laughs> yeah. You've worked with old Lol, haven't you? Lol who? Lol. Who's Lol? Lol friend, Lol. Larry Olivier. Oh, Lol, <laughs> yeah, Lol, good old Lol. Uncle Lol. <laughs> yeah, I worked with him, that was good fun too. Yeah. Yeah, I did that a few years ago now. Yeah, he's good, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, yeah, I know all the stars. Yeah. Do you get mobbed a lot? Uh, no, I try and avoid all that. Nah. I don't actually enjoy yeah. all that. Oh, I adore all that, being mobbed, you know, getting out in the street and getting mobbed. <laughs> uh, right, let's have a rodent phone call. Uh, we're running short on time, because they only give me two seconds here, you know, to come on here. So let's see if there's a rat fan on the line. Hello? Hello? Hello, who's that? Judy Wright. Who? Judy, Judy Wright. Wright. Ah, what questions have you got for me? Are you hoping to become a champion racing driver? No, I don't know about that. we better watch the film later on, haven't we? Then you can judge for yourself whether I should be a racing driver. Do you want to say good morning to Toya? Silence. She's gone. <laughs> she, she's not interested. Sorry That's about that. <laughs> Do you want to say hello to Toya? Hello, Toya. Yeah. Hello, how are you? All right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. A rap fan and a Toya fan. Get that box off here. It's obscuring me. You can't see this, though, but they've got a stupid box superimposed over me head. All right, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, but we're running short of time, uh, Julie, all right? Thanks for calling. Bye. Could you please Lee. say hello to 
Paul and Paula, David and Peter, and my grandparents yeah. and all my friends. Yeah, and everybody in Sunderland. Yeah. Hello from Roland Red Superstar and Toya. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. yeah. All right. Bye. Bye. Yeah. I thought she'd gone for a minute there. Oh, I can never get these phones back on the. <laughs> uh, and I'd like to read out the uh, the winners uh, to our Roland Wallpaper competition held on Monday. When I asked how much did Kevin pay for the Ratmobile, and the answer was, of course, eighty-five pounds. Now. Uh, somewhere here, I've got the lucky winners. Uh, can you find them there? Is that the winners or is that a question? That's a question. No, I've got that wrong. <laughs> Where are Do you want me to read the winners out? Yeah, please. Yeah. The, winners, the winners are yeah. of the wallpaper competition. Yeah. And that's There's the wallpaper. wallpaper. Marvellous. Yeah. <laughs> that looked good in my loo. Yeah. Uh, the winners are Paula Ridge from Selby, yeah. Lynn C Cook from Osset, West yeah. Yorkshire, yeah. David Errington from Tyne on Weir, yeah. Richard Dixon from Burton on Trent, yeah. and Darren Johnson from Coventry. Congratulations! Oh, well, done. Yeah. we'll be in touch with you soon to find out how many rolls of wallpaper you'll need to do up your bedroom. Yeah, right, <laughs> now it's the moment you've all been waiting for yesterday's race of the century at Silverstone. So, Errol, run VT! Just watch this tile, this will be good. On the monitor over here. Yeah. <laughs> to another Roland's Roving Report on a very important day today, Gerbil fans, because today the race of the century is about to take place here at Silverstone. Roland Rett Superstar is to race Roland Ratzenberger from Austria. Roland Rett is driving a customised 1953 Ford Anglia sprayed pink and Ratzenberger is driving a Formula Ford 1600. Let's go over to the track to see the drivers preparing their cars. Yes, there's Errol supervising our Oras mechanics, just putting the finishing touches to our wonderful car. I can't see the point in all this lark. And there is Mr. Ratzenberger's car, slightly different to the Ratmobile, as you can see. The cars are almost ready at this start of the race of the century. There's Roland, preparing himself behind the wheel. <laughs> and there is Ratzenberger nervously discussing tactics with his team. The pair look as though they're about to be under starter's orders. And yes, yes, they're off. The green light is on, and they are off. Ratzenberger's off to a clean start. Roland's in trouble there by the look of it. I can't start this thing. I knew we should have thrown this antique pile of rubbish away. Ugh. Errol! Errol! I need help! Ugh. I'm gonna lose this race now. Ugh. Oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> it started. Yeah, we're off! Yeah. Ratzenberger is well in the lead now. Roland Rat Superstar off to a disappointing start there. It looks as though Ratzenberger is being flagged down into the pits for some reason. There must be a problem with his car. No, wait a minute, he's taking an emergency phone call, I'm told. Who it's from, we don't quite know, but it must be important. Roland, quickly, there's a telephone call for you. Hello, who is this? All right, Hamburger. <laughs> hey, it's Roland, dear. Uh, here, I'm just calling from the Rattlebill, honey. I just wanted to wish you good luck for the race. I didn't get a chance at the beginning. <laughs> you mean to say you've pulled me off the track just to wish me good luck? Yeah, it does rather look that way, doesn't it? Yeah. You're trying to slow me up, you cheat, Mr. Rat. How dare you? I would never consider such a thing. <laughs> We're off, boys. Yeah. Well, Ratzenberger's taken his emergency phone call, but this has certainly set him sadly way behind now. So we can clearly see Roland Rat Superstar well in the lead at the end of the third lap. I see Ratzenberg is in further trouble there. It appears he's had to slow down as there are animals on the racetrack, which is most unusual, especially as they are all stuffed. I wonder who put those on the track. On the jumps, on the terrapies, Move these animals, but somebody help me. I'm losing time. Fill her up, Errol, and 
make it snappy. Here, Errol, don't forget to put water instead of petrol in old Hamburger's car when he comes in for a refill, OK? <laughs> Ooh, this is all very unfair, if you ask me. I didn't, thanks, Errol. Bye! One thing I can't stand is people who cheat. I can't see the point in it myself. Superstar still well in the lead there, even after a pit stop. Rettenberger now in need of a quick refuel. Can he make up this lost time? We all want to know. More petrol and hurry. Oh, uh, right, Mr. Ratzenberger. Now, this is where I'm supposed to put the water in instead of the petrol, isn't it? Yes, Roland is doing extremely well now. Ratzenberger's back on the track after an extremely short pit stop there. Looks like Roland could win this race by a clean sweep. Oh, but wait, what have we here? Ratzenberger's taken over on a new lease of life there. He's overtaking, yes, he's overtaking the Rappermobile. Yes, this is a shock. It's not far from the checkered flag now. Will Ratzenberger beat our very own superstar? This is what we all want to know. But wait, Ratzenberger's suddenly slowed down. He's in trouble, oh dear me. He's out of the race and the Rappermobile has flown past him there. Roland is set to win. Yes, he's over the line. He's won the race of the century and he's excited. Oh, what a victory. What good sports they both were. And there are the final results. First place, Roland Red Superstar and second, Roland Ratzenberger. <laughs> I knew I was going to win in the end. I had the better car, didn't I? Stands to reason, really. <laughs> you cheated. I knew you would. Typical Roland Rat tactics. Be quiet, Errol. I won the rat race. Yeah. <laughs> I won the race. I am brilliant. Yeah. And so we can safely say another brilliant victory for Roland Rat Superstar. <laughs> 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 I knew I'd win. I'm brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Old hamburger was pathetic, wasn't he? Yeah. I'm quite proud of the Rapmobile, actually. And that brings me to our wonderful Rapmobile competition. Yeah. <laughs> Toyo's got the Replica there. It's battery operated. Can yeah, you operate look. the car? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's marvellous, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, it's absolutely brilliant. We've got ten to give away in our simple competition. You'd have to be simple to enter that. Thank you, Errol. No one asked for your comments. Would you read the question, please, Yeah, Dorothy? the question is, what make of car did Roland Ratzenberger drive in the race of the century? Yeah, write your answer on a postcard and send it to Rat Race Competition, Roland Rat Production Office, TBAM, Orly Crescent, London NW1, 8TQ. And the first ten correct entries pulled out of our sacks of mail were in a brill, ace and skill rat mobile like that one there. Yeah. yeah. Well, Toya, I reckon it's time for our latest episode of Transformers, Robots in Disguise. OK, Errol, run VT. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> I've got your album here, so I look dead posh that sleeve, innit? Yeah. yeah. Do you design all your sleeves? I co-design them. Yeah. I just use a lot of friends. Because you've got uh, really a lot good of cement. images. Like eh? Hey, good image. images. Yeah, let's show this. There. Yeah. Two tons like of cement on that face. Yeah, that's I don't good. look like that normally. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> don't be modest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> When's your new single out then? Oh, I've got a single out on Monday and it's called ah. World in Action. Oh, I'm going to buy that. Oh, yeah. do. No, I want you to give me one. <laughs> <laughs> give us a kiss, Toy. Go on, on the enemy mm. nose. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've sadly run out of time now. I must say it's been a thrill meeting a multi, uh, multi, I can't even say it, multi talented superstar like myself <laughs> i reckon we should do a play together you know a shakespearean one oh, yeah. i could rewrite it all taming of the shrew yeah, exactly yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah taming of the rat yeah <laughs> i'll cut out the boring bits we'd be a smash in the west end yeah as for all my billions of fans who are watching oh, i love you lots i'll miss you madly till i'm on again oh this is a sad moment i must say bye rat